Hey everyone, welcome to Promised Land. Everyone say Promised Land. Say Promised Land. Say Promised Land. Very good. Welcome this morning. I hope you're ready to praise God right now. Stand up on your feet. And can you wave your hands this way? And wave your hands that way? And wave your hands like this? And wave your hands like that? Okay, we're going to praise God with a song called Praise Him. Let's go for it. Yes, it is good to praise him. Well, welcome to Promised Land, everyone. If you're in the building this morning, say, oh, yeah. Very good. If you're at home, say, hiya. Very nice. And it's very nice to have you. If you are in the building today, you should have leaders with you who are all around some grown-ups who are going to look after you. Give your leaders a wave. Very good, and at home you should have, a, hopefully, a responsible adult who can help you as well if you're at home. And if you need anything throughout the morning, ask your grown-up and they'll be sure to help you. Now, I want you, everybody, to get your hand like this and tie a string around it here and then pull it. There we go. And then pull now. Hello. See, and pull again. Hiya. And pull one more time. Hey. Very good, there's your little puppet friend. Now say bye-bye, puppet. Bye-bye. <laughs> now we're going to, in a moment, look at God's big story together. But before we do that, as we've been doing over the past few weeks, to start with, we're going to get together in our groups to talk about how our week's been. What's your week been like? Any news to share? You've got a few minutes to do that. You can have your drink and snack that you brought with you whilst you do that. Have some time to catch up. Your leaders will tell you what groups you're in and we'll come back together soon.
All right, let's come back together from our chats. Hope you all had a good chance to share. It's very exciting. It's wonderful to spend time with one another, isn't it? Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at this book called the Buh -buh -buh Bible, or as we like to call it, God's Big Story. And we're going to look at it today. We've been doing a series over recent weeks, which this is kind of our last week in that series called Learning to Hear. Everyone say, Hear! That's right, we're learning to hear God's voice every day. And one of the things we've been using to help us is a method called SOAP. Everyone say SOAP. And SOAP, just to remind you, stands for four things. The S is say. What does that story or that bit of the Bible say that you just heard? You can maybe take turns to say it in your own words. Then O, what did you observe? The magnifying glass. What did you notice or find interesting about the story? What does it tell you about God, who he is? A, act. Is there anything that you could do, act, action you could take? Does God want you to do something? And then P, pray. Pray about the things that you've just talked about. So we're going to use that in a moment, but first we're going to hear the bit of the Bible we're going to use soap with today. And we're going to hear a story from the book of Acts. Everyone say, Acts. Acts. We've heard this story before. But we're going to hear it again, and it's about how God came on his people at the beginning of the early church. So watch this short video now before we then use soap. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, they wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshipped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. 
Wonderful, what a story, hearing about God and his people. I want you now to take a few moments in your small groups to talk about what you've just seen. In fact, before you talk about it, in your own words, can you tell one another what just happened? And then you're going to think about what you might do, act and then pray. So you've got a few moments now. If you need a bit longer, I'm sure your leader can pause the video so you can have longer, whatever you need. But let's use soap right now.
Okay, well that's uh, the end of our discussion soap time. I hope you found that helpful. Helped you to get the idea of the story in your mind, think about it, and maybe what you might want to do out of it. Now one of the things I thought about in this story was, and that was interesting, was that Jesus got his disciples, and even once Jesus had left them, gone to heaven, physically, he sent the Spirit to be with them, and he, he asked them to be together, and it was like he gathered them, but not to stay together, he gathered them, to be ready to then go. So they gather together, God comes to meet with them, and then they go and they take God's good news and his word to the people. And then they would come and gather again and then go. Jesus had a commission that said, go. Everyone say, go. Everyone say, here we go. So we're going to use a song I thought would be helpful, which is the Great Commission. Jesus' command to his disciples called, go. So stand up on your feet. Join in with the words, and if you learn these words, you're learning a piece of the Bible at the same time, which is wonderful. So here we go.
great. Okay, now we've got that in our minds. We're talking about taking Jesus' word. We're going. We're going to now do something that we do every week at Promised Land. You know what it is. Here it is. It's game time. And our game today kind of fits and links with what we're learning about because what we're going to do for our game today is we're going to use the ba ba ba. Bible, one of these, and we're going to split in a moment into three teams, probably the groups that you are in for your discussions based on age, and you're going to do a relay race, so three teams, one against the other, and you've got to race from one end of the box on the floor to the other, or if you're at home, you can go from one end of your room to the other and back again, but you've got to take one of your uh, a Bible, so hopefully your leaders have some Bibles ready, and you've got to Balance it on your head whilst you race. Now, I understand that your teams might be different ages, so we're going to do something. The very littlest group, the youngest children, when you do this, you'll be allowed to hold on to your Bible with both hands like this, and you've just got to race. Go from one end of your box, get to the line at the other end, then come back again and touch the next player and give them the Bible, and then they will go like a relay. The oldest group, the oldest ones, I don't think you need to hold on. I'm going to challenge you to not hold on at all. You've got to try and balance. If it falls on the floor, you've got to stop, pick it up, put it on again, and then carry on. And those in the middle, well, I might let your leaders decide, but what I suggest you could do is something in between, so you're not doing it without any hands, but you're only allowed to use one finger to hold it on your head, like that. Okay, so you're going to have a race, see how you do, you can play as long as you want for the amount of time the time allows. So have fun playing this game, which is called Taking the Word.
Whoa, that's the end of game time, everybody! Sit yourselves down. And who can be the first sitting down with their teeth like this? Hmm? Leaders, can you see any good uh, sitters with good teeth like this? Hmm? Very good. I wonder how you got on with that game. I hope you had fun anyway. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a few moments now to pray together. As we've been doing the last few weeks, gathering in one big group, maybe stand up in a circle or round the edge of the rectangular box, and we're going to pray. But I want to suggest there might be one particular thing we might want to pray for. There can be other things you want to pray for and thank God for, but today is a very special morning, quite sad also maybe quite exciting and that is those who are in year six are any of you here today give me a yeah well those of you that are in year six this is your last morning in promised land because as of next week you'll be in the youth so you're going up to the next group although maybe we'll see you again one day when you're a bit old you might come back as a promised land helper which would be great but this is your last morning so i suggest it might be nice to pray for those who are moving up to youth next week um, and then anything else you want to pray for go for it but definitely let's pray for them today all right you've got a few moments now to pray together
Amen, amen. Well, do you know what? In fact, stay there. Be, be nice and quiet. Maybe just sit down for a moment. I would also just like the opportunity to pray for those in year six. A very short prayer. Thank you, Lord, for those who are moving up to youth next week. And I thank you that you know them, you love them, and all the things they've learned so far in their life. I pray they'll continue to learn and grow and get to know you more and more as they move into their youth and into secondary schools. Be with them, we pray. Amen. All right, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to sing a final song together. So we're going to sing a song now called Your Power Will Pull Us Through. And what this song talks about is how God's love and power will pull us through all situations and we can fully trust him for anything that's coming our way, whether it be a new school or a new year group we're moving into in September or whatever uh, challenges you might face. We can say, God, we are trusting in you. And it's, that's what we're singing in this song. So stand up on your feet and let's do the actions. Let's join in the words as we uh, get to grips with the words. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you Okay, well, thanks for joining Promised Land again this week. It's been wonderful to have you. And again, to those of you in year six, it's been wonderful to have you all these years with us in Promised Land. But we won't be, uh, we'll be seeing you, of course, we'll be seeing you around. But um, yes, have a great week. And for those of you that may be starting back school this week, may God be with you and go with you. All right, see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.